Hey, what's going on, ladies? How y'all doing? This is your boy, Deontay Burton, a.k.a. Mr. Shaw Dog himself. Hey, listen, I want to give you guys information on a grant. It's coming from iFund Women and Neutrogena Fund. Listen, this is a $10,000 grant for female entrepreneurs. I need you guys to hop on it because it has an April 26th deadline. Again, it's a $10,000 grant from iFund, iFund Women and Neutrogena uh, put in for female entrepreneurs. It's a $10,000 grant. April 26th deadline. I need you guys to move fast on it. Before we start going through the whole application process, and I definitely need you guys to make sure you're following me through this whole application because they're going to ask specific questions that I want to give you guys insights and help you out with in regards to the application process. Because far too many times everybody's applying, but they're not getting these grants because they're not putting in the proper information in the application process. But before we get started, again, I need you guys to Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mr. E. Short Dollar, where we talk about personal finance, business, entrepreneurship, and real estate investing. Easy way to stay updated with everything, hit that dollar sign in the bottom right-hand corner. Okay, now let's get started. Hit the application button. Give you a little background information on the grant while we're getting pulling everything up. Just to let you guys know, the, pretty much the base requirements for this grant is, again, most importantly, guys, it's April 26th deadline, so I need you guys to move on it fast. But... Here's some basic requirements for everything. You must be over 18 years old, own or operate your business in the United States of America. You must have a compelling digital uh, digital presence and visual media. Again, that's like the same thing I tell you guys, make sure you got that social media on point, make sure you got your website on point. You just can't go here asking for money because they're gonna kind of verify. I mean, these grants, they're not going through the whole process of asking the, the, uh, all the tough information like bank information or a certain financial projection, like you may see some more uh, bigger grants, whether just say a million dollars, two million dollars, even one for a hundred thousand dollars. These grants ask for basic information, but actually we do want to verify that you are a legitimate business. So making sure you got that digital footprint, well, I'm, a fingerprint or footprint, rather what I'm talking about the social media, the website, all that stuff is on point. Or uh, the fourth thing, business must have a, must be solving a wellness oriented problem in an important way, okay? You guys can figure that out. Again, that's why we're going through the application process together to give you insight on what information you need to provide to them. And the last thing is must demonstrate potential for growth. Okay, we'll go through that again. You just can't say, I want money to be open. Okay, you have to be able to elaborate exactly what you need to do. And what if you receive this funds, what you'll be able to do with it. Okay, scrolling down, guys. One, one thing I do want to get to you guys, part of this whole process, they're going to ask for a 60 second video. You guys need to, it can be shared through uh, uh, Vimeo, YouTube, Google Drive. But what I will say is I will probably make that video before I even start this application process because, again, that's what's going to be selling you. Okay, again, sometimes people are like, well, I got to make this video. I got to have this website and stuff together just to get $10,000. Uh, yeah. So, again, it's free money. It's that waiting, on you, waiting for you guys. You just got to do a little late work to get it. I don't know anything else if it comes down to making a YouTube video, Instagram, or Facebook page, doing a 60 second video. I don't know what else out there is going to give you $10,000 just for doing that. So again, we can sit and have a great debate about it, or you can go out there and do what you need to do. Take a couple hours to get it done and go get you $10,000. Okay. What I did want to let you guys know in the event that you don't qualify for those particular items where I just gave in regards to the age, the location of the business, you can hit this link right here for the uh, iPhones Universal Grant application, and what that takes you to a whole nother uh, application is pretty much straightforward. And, and if you don't qualify, they'll hold you in their database to to be able to apply for that. But okay, it's pretty much the same application that we're going to go through now. So, but I want you guys just to follow it through to the same information. It's just you're not meeting the minimum qualification to get the ten thousand dollar grant. But there'll be some smaller grants, maybe a couple hundred dollars, thousand dollars here and there, different opportunities. But right now, they again, hit this link right here on the universal grant if you don't qualify for that basic requirements that I just gave, okay? Let's start the application process. First thing they're gonna be doing, that's some basic information where you're gonna tell them a little bit about yourself. First name, last name, street address, your city, your state, zip code. I don't think anybody can mess this one up, country, phone number, email address. This is very important with that email address, guys. I want you guys to remember, if you're applying for your business, again, this is for fee, uh, 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 female entrepreneurs. I would, if you don't have, you only have, you know, such and such at Gmail, that's great. But this is why I'm trying to get everybody, you need to try to have those little 
$10 domain names uh, where you can have, it just looks better from an aesthetic standpoint for applying, you know, being a business and everything. It doesn't mean that they're gonna not do anything because you don't have actual, uh, an exact domain name in regards to your business, but it makes it easier. Again, we wanna always help ourselves and not hurt ourselves by things we didn't do, okay? Right here, when it comes to general, how do you identify yourself? And they got a couple of options. You can hear female, male. But again, this is for female entrepreneurs. They just ask how you identify yourself race, Facebook URL, again, um, remember hit NA if you don't, but remember what they just said, they're looking for that compelling uh, digital presence, okay? We wanna make sure to listen, you know, they're giving this stuff to you guys, you gotta have exactly what they want, okay? Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Again, guys, you gotta make sure that social media is on, on point. How'd you guys find about the iPhone? You guys hit other, let's say your brother, Mr. Short Dollar helped you out, okay? Let's get down to business, here we go. Your business name, the website, the digital footprint, guys, when the, when the business was started. Uh, please don't make any comments asking me, what if you haven't started your business yet? Again, I just said the business has to be started, okay? Uh, describe it, startup, small business, side hustle, passion, hobby, nonprofit, they're not holding it against you, they're just asking the question. What stage your business in? See these different stages you can put here. Idea, proof of concept. Again, they're asking for businesses. Even if you say this is an idea stage, uh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't put that. I'm just giving my whole point with that. Again, because you're going to sell that a whole lot harder in regards to if you're in the idea stage, why does it have all this big digital footprint? Again, so you got to kind of think about it in regards to what they're asking for. And I'm not saying they're saying it with trick questions, but kind of, again, if it's an idea and you got all this other stuff going, why, you know, why is this just an idea now, okay? In regards to the digital footprint, these are different things. They want to know where you are as far as a particular stage, even actually if it's an exit, you know, idea if you already got done, uh, done with it or not. You know, if you already don't have a business anymore, why would you be asking for the money? So just keep all that in mind, guys. What's your business status of right now? Growing rapidly, holding steady, growing slowly, stagnating, pivoting, closing down. I think you can be straightforward and answer with that. What industry are you in? You got the different industries here from apparel, beauty, biotech, events, family, fashion, music, physical places, real estate, science, wellness, tech business and business, tech business and consumer. Here, H. Does your business sell any health and wellness products by any other brands, okay? Um, you can put yes or no there. I don't think that's holding that against you uh, with doing it because yeah, they're not actually be an authorized Neutrogena uh, 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 reseller or anything like that. Like I said, again, these are pretty straightforward. They didn't have any restrictions on the amount of people you have to be working for you or anything, but I just asked how many full-time employees do you have? How many paid freelancers or vendors do you work with on a given time? You can go right there. What are the current challenges you are faced with growing your business? Here are just you know, a couple of quick, quick answers here. You, know, you get a chance to pick your top three. All right. Funding, revenue drying up, don't have access to a culture mentor. I'm having trouble getting my website or digital presence going. Remember, man, that's kind of like a trick question, guys, because they already saying they want you to have this uh, compelling uh, digital presence. Don't get caught, you know, don't give them reasons not to give you anything. They already pretty much gave the, the, the actual requirements that they're looking for. We just went over that. I wouldn't answer a question that they've already asked you they want you to have to get assistance from them. That makes sense. What's your business pitch in 400 words or less? Please explain what your company does, the problem you're solving. How your product service ideal solve the problem? Why are you uniquely qualified to pull this off? And if you form any partnerships you are proud of. Hey guys, see, this is this, here's the thing with this. In the description section, I have a link to Fiverr. Fiverr has a lot of freelance writers that can you know give you pretty, pretty much pretty much can let them know I'm doing this for the Neutrogena fund, give them the link, tell them what you need to have, 400 words. So let's you get your little contractor from there. Again, the link for Use the link that I have in the description, uh, description section for Fiverr. Hit on that. Pick, you know, find you just a creative writer or whatever they're looking for to or somebody make your business pitch. You can put that in. 
tell them exactly what you want. This is if you have challenges with doing it. If you know you, you're already, uh, already seasoned with selling yourself or giving good pitches, have at it. But if you do know that you're a person that uh, is challenged in regards to actually selling yourself or selling your business, go to the description section under Fiverr link. Like if you're looking for freelancers, put in business pitch. They, you can actually send this link to exactly what you're applying for. And then from that point, let them figure that out for you and put that in for you, okay? That's my tip for the day. Remember, go to the description section. You'll see the link in there for you guys to take advantage of it, okay? Next thing, let's talk about funding. This is important, so don't skip over this part. No, we're going to talk about that because we need the money. Have you ever crowd, crowdfunded before? You know, we're talking about just a uh, GoFundMe, uh, Indiegogo, those sites like that. If yes, Please put the URL campaign below. If no, skip to the next question. Have you raised follow-on capital for your business or project? Follow-on capital outside capital means that you secure funds, funding that wasn't from your own bank, uh, saving accounts, cars, anything like that. So they just asking, did you ever get a loan or anything like that before? Yeah, these are pretty straightforward questions. If yes, what type of funding did you get? You want a grant, follow-up, family, friends, agent, investor? Anything that was outside of your own personal money, okay? Those are your options right there. What currency does your business primarily use? You know, again, this is a grant for companies that own operate in the U.S. You go in there putting in uh, yen or francs or euros or something like that. Uh, I can tell you what's going to happen. So, again, sticking to rules. Don't fall with these trick questions. E. How much money have you raised for your business or idea in total? Okay, pretty much any of the number that uh, most closely matches how much you raised in total through crowdfunding loans, investors. Do not use any special letters or characters. Okay, so again, when you put this in here, you see this, guys. Don't put a comma anywhere in those in the uh, the context of that. Okay, why they want it that way, I have no idea. But again, let's follow the rules. Let's not give them a reason not to give you the money. Okay, so we want to make sure we're following the rules. That's why I want to go through this with you guys to make sure you're not missing anything. Next one, excuse me, how much revenue do you generate per year? Okay, please provide an estimate of your annual revenue from the past 12 months in the currency form that's been selected. Do not use any special letters of care. Guys, again, don't put a comma in here, okay? They've said it twice, they've said it twice. Don't put in one zero comma zero zero zero. They just said just put that 10,000, okay? Straightforward questions. Okay, media we can share with Neutrogena, okay? And then we're saying, this is going back to the videos, the JPEG files, high resolution videos or anything like that. Continue, you can upload everything from there. Boom, got that. Now, if you got the video made or anything, you won't have any kind of shareable links, but there you go right there. Okay, please provide a video of yourself sharing a story of your business, what you want to do with the grant or expert coaching you want. Bam, you made this video already. It's the 60 second video I talked about initially on at the beginning of the video, <clears throat> excuse me, that you had to do in this time that you produced within the last 18 months. Remember, put that link from Vimeo, YouTube, Dropbox, Google, Google Drive, some other uh, uh, database where you have the link set up. That's where you put it right there. Again, my best advice for you guys try to do that stuff on the front end. Your mind is fresh, make the video and build everything off of that, okay? Submission acknowledgement that we go right there. Hit continue and it's submitted. Guys, here's pretty much just that disclaimers of everything. You by submitting, this is what you get, and everything you go from there. I accept, and that's it. Guys, you agree to it. Ain't good to go. Okay. Again, best of luck to you guys. Well, a couple of things I want to run by. Make sure you follow the rules and what they're looking for. Don't fall for any trick questions. You got the background information regarding to being over 18, own operating US, have a compelling digital presence. Uh, you're selling health and wellness products. If you, if you're not direct sell health and wellness products, I will find some way to kind of, you know, circumvent the pitch and what my products does and what in regards to health and wellness. Or hit on the link that they had if you don't qualify that. And most importantly, you have to demonstrate a potential for growth. Guys, remember if you're not uh, good with you know making those pitches or having those particular statements, go to the description section. Add the link for Fiverr, hit on the link for Fiverr, put in somebody pitch writing, give them the link for this application, let them see the dynamics of what you need to provide, let them find somebody to help you with that. Uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Best of luck. And again, to stay updated, I got more grants coming down the pike for you ladies and everybody else is following and stuff. Uh, but to stay updated, make sure you hit that dollar sign in the bottom right hand corner. We stay on top of everything from Mr. Short Dollar, where we talk about personal finance, business, entrepreneurship, and real estate investing. 
Best of luck again, you guys. Take care.